Lucas Media. So USC fired their former coach. I'm just now finding out about this. Andy Enfield left USC today after 11 years to take the same position at a SMU Southern Methodist University in the, I think they're in Dallas, I believe. Now Andy Enfield, he's been there like I said, 11 years. He's had multiple NBA players that went to USC. But this last year, I don't know. He seemed like he was in over his head. He seemed like he didn't really know what to do. You got Bronny coming off the bench. Y'all barely won any games. Um, it just, uh, what's his name? Isaiah Collier. He was there. You had the, one of the top re recruiting classes, but you just couldn't win any games. Didn't make a tournament. Didn't win no, was losing against lower level teams. And I knew that this was going to happen. The reason I'm making this video, because now I believe that Bronny will be staying another year at USC now will they get a more clutch friendly coach we don't know but I definitely believe that Brian is going to stay but if for him to stay his coach is going to have to go I don't know he just seemed he seemed very confused if you give me all these players and then you give me media attention with Brian I'm going to use it to the best I can we're not going to be out here losing against Long Beach and all these other smaller schools and then like i said they never they never got on track they would blow big game leads you would see them getting blown out half the players seemed like they didn't want to be there they was just cool with being in la and again this is my opinion but they're going to get a coach in there i truly believe that Bronny's going to come back i think that lebron's going to sign a a one year well no he can opt out i think he's going to opt in i believe yeah and either way, they'll do it to where he do a one-year contract. Bronny will come back one year. They're going to have a more friendly coach. Bronny will be starting. And then he can go from there. Now, as much as I criticize Bronny and said that I don't think he's NBA ready, I do feel like he should have started. At some point, you got to take Boogie out and put him in or, or something. Or he need to get more minutes. But he just, I don't know. I don't know. It, it seemed like the team, it seemed like coach lost. He lost his team at some point. And I even seen where they even turned down the NIT tournament. That's how you know it's bad when they say, no, nah, we good. We ain't even going there. And something was going on for him to step down and take a new job the same day. So for all these college coaches and people that get mad when players do it, you got a prime example right here. This man there for 11 years, he told people he was going to be there. Some of these people, moms and dads, I'm going to be there with your son. I'm going to coach him four years. And the minute he go through some adversity, he getting the heck out of Dodge. And the, within the same day, he takes another job. So, but I really think that, like I said, when they didn't make that tournament, I figured that he was going to come, that he was going to either step down or lose his job. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?